Hello class, this is Mom Says, signing on. This video lecture will talk about use case diagrams. Let's begin. In the previous lecture, we talked we talk about the UML. Again, UML or Unified Modeling Language, it satisfies the need to obtain a method for more suited object-oriented program. We implement use case diagram to determine the requirements of a computerized system. Typical UML diagrams are as follow. We have the use case diagram, class diagram, interaction diagrams, and so on and so forth. But we will focus only on use case diagram. These are the symbols we will use in use case diagram. We use oval for the use case, the actual use case, and we will use stickman for the actor. Use case diagrams is used to determine the requirements of a system. As an analyst, we determine the potential actors involved in the system. An actor is a typical a person, but maybe a third-party organization or another computer system. One person may be a multiple actors. So, example, a shop assistant may be a customer of the same shop at another time. So, we model actors, not individuals. An actor makes use of a system in different ways, and it is known as use case. As for Jacobson, the author of use case, it is defined as behaviorally related sequence of transactions performed by an actor in a dialogue with the system. We represent use case by OVAs and actors by stickmen. Figure 1 is an example of a use case of a customer withdrawing money. This is an example solution to a problem asking for a banking system where a customer can withdraw money. This is the equivalent use case diagram. Of course, to withdraw money, a customer must also be able to deposit money. So there is at least one more use case and that is what figure two all about. Now, it might be that the system which is being implemented in the bank needs to involve a cashier for depositing, but that to withdraw money, the customer has to use the cash, the, you know, the cash machine. The cashier is then an actor, taking this into a account and allowing customers to check their account balance requires further additions to the model. Use cases may also use other use cases. The withdraw cash use case would make use of the account balance in the use case before issuing the money. So we represent this by connecting use cases in our graphical model that is what figure 4 means. Use case diagram is a vital part of object-oriented development and should be used to understand the requirements of a system. They are also suitable interface between the clients, users, and developers of the system and should be used to drive system testing. We'll have more samples of use case diagram in our next lectures. And that ends our discussion. Hope this quotes inspires you as you develop your programming skills. And so that's it. Watch out for more video lectures. Stay safe and God bless everyone. Thank you for watching. This is Mom Says, signing off.